I'm going to show you how to make these little gumdrop meringues and you can either have them with the red swirl so they almost look like mint candies or then you can just have them plain and then you can put dip them in chocolate on the bottom so then it's just a plain one with some chocolate so I'm going to show you how to do both ways but you can also do the swirl ones in chocolate as well but basically they're just peppermint meringues and it's a really easy thing to make it just takes a bit of time um, just whipping all the egg whites and then after you do that just letting them sit in the oven it bakes for about an hour and a half and then after that you turn the oven off and then open the door a little bit and just let them sit for another like three-ish hours until they're completely cool so then when you bite into them and they have a completely dry and crunchy center. So I'll show you how I made them. So for starters, you want to use three large egg whites and make sure that these are at room temperature. Now you can either use real eggs and separate the yolks and the whites or I took the easy way out and just used some egg whites in a box and it gives you the instructions that two tablespoons is equal to one egg white. So I needed six tablespoons and then a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and then also a quarter teaspoon of pure peppermint extract. And then also just a dash of salt. So, you know, just an eighth of a teaspoon, or I just did it a little bit. And then you're going to whip this up, beat the egg whites until they form soft peaks. So you can see, you know, they hold their shape, but they're not too firm. And this took about five minutes of whipping. And then we're going to add three quarter cup of sugar, but add it gradually. So after each little bit, just whip it. And then we're going to whip this until we form stiff peaks, which mine aren't exactly stiff peaks, but this was after seven more minutes of whipping and I was just done whipping. Uh, so then I'm going to use a piping bag and a star shaped tip. And then to get our kind of red color, I am using gel color. So instead of food coloring, which is liquid, I'm using gel. So this was because um, it would be easier to make the two different types. So mark three lines in your piping bag, as I showed. And then we're just going to put in our meringue mixture into the bag. And then we're just going to pipe down these colors. And I haven't touched the bag, so the color is still in there. And yeah, I just made them into like quarter-sized um, rosettes, I guess. And then to get these color ones, I mushed the bag a little bit just to get that color a bit looser. And did the same, just piping them. Then we're going to bake it at 225 degrees Fahrenheit, a low temperature, for 90 minutes. And after that, turn the oven off and they should be nice and formed and all puffed up. And then just prop the oven open with a spatula or something so the air, hot air can seep out, but not completely. So you're gonna leave those in for another three hours so they completely dry, so then they're nice and crisp. And I dipped the white ones into dark chocolate. I melted dark chocolate in the microwave and then just dipped them in. I don't know where my footage went on that, but it was pretty self-explanatory. The only hard part is just kind of holding them right so the whole thing doesn't fall in there. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you give it a try. They're pretty easy to make. It's just, yeah, a lot of time whipping. So at first I was like, I don't know how long I have to whip for, but it does. It takes about 10 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I packaged about 10 of each kind in a little baggie and tied it up with a bow of a ribbon and it just made it look really pretty and festive and it was a great present to give away. I'm all about giving edible presents away because I love baking anyway so if I can bake and then have it as a present to give to my coworkers or my kind of friends or anyone who I wouldn't buy like a really big gift and especially now that I'm an adult and I'm giving to other adults they don't really need anything especially my coworkers a lot of them are older than me so yeah, they don't, they don't need to have anything really. Um, and I'm not too, too close to some of them, so I wouldn't know what they need if they do need something. So edible is something that's always good. They can eat it if they don't want to eat sweets so they're on a diet or something. They can always give it away or bring it to a party or anything. So I always like giving edible gifts. So I hope you give these guys a try and let me know if you try it and how they turned out. Thanks for watching. Bye.